What's up, everybody? This is a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, not the Pro, unfortunately. It is the same camera that I'm filming on. I love this camera. I've had this camera for about three years. The one that I'm filming with, this one is a good friend of mine, that friend of mine's. It's not, a, this camera is not a good friend of mine. This is a good friend of mine's uh, that he is letting me use because I have a pretty big shoot tomorrow that I am also filming on these lenses. And that means I have to make sure this camera is set up the same as that camera. And with that, diving into something that I've never really dove into prior to this week, which is loading in my own personalized LUTs into the camera. I've shot on productions that already had their monitors like this, but I've never done it myself. And a big part of that was because I thought it was way more complicated than it actually is. So I figured today we'd make a quick little video just talking about how to do it. So we're gonna hop in and do something very quick to load my LUT that I created for this shoot into that camera so that we're on the same page. So first things first, take your SSD or SD card or CFast card, whatever you prefer, you plug them in to your computer, very easy. Then you go to your finder, you go to wherever it is that you keep your LUTs, for me, it's a folder called LUTs. I will go ties the answer 250D. Uh, this is a LUT that I made personally for replicating the 250D film stock look. Um, that's it. It's pretty simple. It's nothing too crazy. It's still not my favorite. I'm going to tweak it some moving forward, uh, which is why I'm not offering it to the public. But someday I will have it for you. Um, so then you're going to jump over to your drive, wherever and whatever it is, you're going to just paste it in there. And that is pretty much it as far as the stuff on the computer goes. So eject that safely, don't destroy your footage or whatever else is on there. And now we're going to switch to the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this one in right here, if I can get it into, boom, click that in, nice and easy. So, you're gonna go like this, you're gonna go to this little menu button, which you all know and love. You're gonna go over to your LUTs, and down at the very bottom is going to be your import button. It's this one that has arrows in each direction. That confused me a little bit. It makes sense to me now. That's the import button. Click on it. You're going to click import LUT from USB drive or whatever it is that you put it in, whether it's CFast or SD. Uh, this is a little silly if all you have is one thing in there and it'll just default to whatever memory device you have in there in my case, USB drive. But if you had an SD or a CFast, make sure that you click the thing that you actually loaded the LUT onto, otherwise you'll confuse yourself. So, USB, go to LUT, and look at that. I apparently have that in there twice, but one is fine. You'll click on it, click import, and now it's in there. Now, in order for it to show up when you're using your camera, you do have to click it and then hit the check mark. Otherwise, it's just gonna default to whatever you had selected previously. So I'll select that. And now, as soon as I go back out here, and if I were to kick on the LUT, it would switch to it. You can't really see it because I don't have a lens attached, but that is how that would work. Nothing too crazy, pretty simple. So that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing too crazy. It is genuinely, it's very easy. I'm sure there are other people out there that have made this video and made it faster, but it was interesting to me because I've never really done it before and I thought someone out there might enjoy it. So hopefully that was helpful. Do all the things YouTubers tell you to do and I'll see you guys tomorrow.